I worked with a VFX supervisor, uh, Bill Westenhofer, who was also a long time and hardcore Warcraft player. When you have digital characters and you have these worlds that don't really exist, you can't just go out with a camera and shoot them. So we knew we had to go to visual effects. For Razeroth and the Alliance! I think the variety and the depth of what we did for this film, as far as really complex environments, crowds, you know, variety of characters, it's really a dream come true as far as a project to be able to work on. That's the previous shot where you're looking over the, the, Wonderful. the gate down yeah. into the camp. We're incredibly fortunate that we worked so close with Blizzard and with their concept artists to design something which works in a realistic setting, but still very much is familiar to those who know the world through the games. Elwyn Forest, you could just go out to a forest and start filming, but anyone who plays the game knows that there's a certain look. Things are, trees are just a little bigger than they would be. There's a sense of scale and there's the extension and addition of digital characters that all have to be added later on. The Frost Wolves are all dead. We are on our own now. This scene is a tour de force as far as visual effects is concerned. We have a set that's pretty decent size. We have a lot of extras, but that's only a fraction of what you'll see. We have this huge environment. This is a continuation of Black Morass, so we see the rest of the orc encampment off to the side, and we see it's now burning because of the battle that's taken place. There's thousands of orcs surrounding the portal, and even the soldiers themselves we have to extend with digital human soldiers in the distance. So there's a lot of work that we have to do. One of the things I loved about this project, beyond just the compelling character performances, was the variety of creatures that we got to create. The griffin is certainly the most emblematic um, of Warcraft creatures. The griffins were a very interesting challenge because you had people interacting with them directly. You had Lothar and Khadgar having to ride a griffin. We'd build a mechanical buck that represented the saddle and, and could move around and articulate in just the right way, and ILM's animators would add the head, neck, and feet and wings to that and move it around and make it look like they're actually taking off. Griffins are a really difficult combination of lion and eagle. That means they're covered in feathers. And the way we achieved feathers on this film was actually to grow them as hair and then each feather, to create all the different parts of it, we grew hair on hair. So it was, it was sort of a unique thing and something we hadn't really attempted before. The griffins and the giant wolves that the orcs ride on were both hand animated, and that's really fun for animators, especially on a show that's primarily about motion capture. One of the challenges with, with frost wolves is that they have to carry an orc. So an orc is already 500 pounds, so you have to have something that doesn't look like an elephant, but that could actually comfortably fit the scale of uh, an orc riding them. They are huge, powerful beasts. We kind of made it a status symbol. There are certain orcs who are able to ride the wolves, who have the wolves. Duncan and I went back and forth and found a posture that looked like they had the musculature to support an orc, but weren't so big as to be out of scale with the humans that were next to them. I'll do it. Back off. So what's about to happen? Fighting a golem again. Hey, over here! Clay face! <laughs> The golem was an interesting one because Duncan had seen a sculpture that a young sculptor had done in Eastern Europe, and it was almost exactly as Duncan wanted the golem to be, so we contacted that guy and, and basically paid him for his design. His little model was maybe only about this big, and here it is three or four months later, 16 feet high. As Mediva's sculpting the golem, it's all a practical thing on set, and then the minute it starts moving is when we take over. A lot of the success of believing a character is this mountain of tiny details. In every movie, there's a moment where your character comes to life, and it's a little like they're being born. That's hugely satisfying. Cut. That was great. The incredible wizards at IOM are really pushing the envelope. We're so fortunate that we have them helping us translate Warcraft to the screen.